Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover autobiography. Then I'll take you for a ride in it. But first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 4.4 SD V8 autobiography. 2015 on a 65 plate, 54,940 miles. MOT'd until the 13th of the 12th, 2021. Last serviced on the 7th of the 12th, 2020 at 52,963 miles. So uh, just a couple of thousand miles ago. Fuel economy, urban, 26.2 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 37.2 miles per gallon. Combined is 33.6 miles per gallon. It has a 0 to 60 time of 6.5 seconds, a top speed of 130 miles per hour out of a 334 brake horsepower, 32 valve V8 engine. Six months road tax is 187 pounds and 12 months is 340. Now, to be honest, I can't remember feeling sad when we'd taken a car in, but um, this is my perfect car, I would say. It, it's got absolutely everything on that I'd want uh, and that I'd order in a car, um, and I get to use it. I always like to have something to look forward to, and, and in the car job, I always have. Um, it reminds me of a Jack Nicholson film, as good as it gets. And it, it's kind of, what if this is as good as it gets? It's, the car is absolutely beautiful. Cost over a hundred thousand pounds new. It drives like a dream. As I say, it's got tremendous spec. The, the audio system cost 4,000 pounds when it was new. Um, and I just don't think we'll get another one in like this again. Uh, it's, it's so much so that I don't really want to drive it because I know it's going to spoil me and it's going to spoil me for all the cars we have in the future that I get to drive. So on, on that note, I'll show you around it <laughs> and try and, be a, try and be a bit more cheerful. So we've got Xenon headlamps, the power headlamp wash front parking sensors. This car has also got uh, 360 surround cameras. Finished in Loire blue metallic with ivory leather. We have the 21 inch multi-spoke alloy wheels. It's sat on Pirelli Scorpion Verdes all round. The silver blades up the side, the full panoramic glass sunroof. And this is a tilt and slide one as well. Power folding door mirrors. It's got access height, so when you get out of the vehicle, or before you get out of the vehicle, it won't be much good after you've got out, would it? But before you get out of the vehicle and you switch it off, it lowers, make, it puts it closer to the ground, easy to get out. But also, if that's not good enough for you, if I just open it there, you'll see it's got deployable uh, side steps as well. And those, as soon as you pull the door handle from the outside or open it, they come out. And actually, these actually seem to deploy a little bit faster than the, the ones on the last car I had. So it's also got keyless go, keyless entry, keyless lock. Just lock it with your thumb, as long as you've got the key on you. Put your hand behind the door handle when you get back and, and the car opens as well. Uh, rear privacy glass, we've got the gloss black trim all around the, the windows. And this, this continuation of the blade there mud flaps honestly the, the the car is lovely um i've driven it up here this morning 25 mile you just you just float it's uh, it's beautiful so we've got the remote boot release there back folds down nice and sturdy sturdy enough for me to sit on so it's got the hard uh, rear load cover, which means you, you can put stuff on so that uh, when you break in a, a hurry, it all flies forward and hits everybody on the back of the head. Plenty of space in the back here. It's also got the uh, electrically adjustable back seats, but not only do they adjust, you can also move them forward like so. Put them down, we'll just put that other one down, both going down there. 
front seat goes forward as well. I'll just show you that from inside in, in a second uh, so you won't miss anything. There you go. We've got a detachable tow bar as well, doesn't look like it's been uh, used and it's got a, a proper spare wheel, not an inflation kit. So really, as, as I say, it's just a really lovely thing. Great colour combination to shut the back as well. Well, let's, let's just see. Reversing camera just in there, reversing sensors in the back there. The rear spoiler, colour keyed or colour coded rear spoiler. That's a brilliant feature, isn't it? But also, you've got, here we go, you've got reclining seats here if you so desire. If you're sat in that side, you can uh, just press that so the Passing the front passenger seat goes forward and you can then uh, recline the seat, put your legs out. I mentioned before the Meridian uh, speakers and, and the, I think it's called the reference, Meridian reference. It's got 29 speakers, two subwoofers in it, speakers in the back seats here. And I, I like my music, not, not the modern stuff, <laughs> the 80s stuff. Or uh, 80s crap as John refers to it, and 70s and 60s, and uh, playing a record in it with it on too loud, really, it feels like you're being punched. <laughs> the, the, the subwoofer, you can actually feel it, and uh, it's, it's just a fantastic sound system. And I'll, I'll actually that's just reminded me, I, I will demonstrate it because it also demonstrates just how quiet the car is on the inside as, as well. And uh, it's, it's like a music chamber, it's lovely. Um, the full glass panoramic sunroof with the tilt and slide section at the front. Piano black uh, trim on the dash, the uh, gear tunnel, the rear of the gear tunnel here where the, the passengers sit. And just to show you, this, this car hasn't been cleaned. And just to show you how well it's been looked after, the two, I, well, I can, I can probably show you better here. That's just a blank for the power socket. But you know how new things come with the plastic still on them? Well, it, it's still on. It's just starting to peel off this one and it's still on the other one. I, I would be very surprised if anybody's been sat in the back to use these electric seats. There you've got the that needs a clean actually. You've got the rear armrest, something's been down there and never opened. As I say, we, we haven't touched it yet, this is just as we've got it. It's also got this lovely suede headlining as well. I mean, what a fantastic car to be a passenger in this. You just sat slightly above the, the driver and passenger there, so you, you've got a good view out. And even if you can't see forward, it's still nice, light and airy. You've got vents here. The, the autobiography spec, it, it's just fantastic. Why anybody would want to take a, a Range Rover and then put one of them silly body kits on, I'll never know. So I'm going to take you riding it now, but first I'll try and demonstrate just how quiet the, uh, the car is inside. Um, <laughs> by demonstrating what you can't hear outside. So here we go, see if it works. So you can imagine what it's like inside. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'll take you for a ride. The Range Rover keys there, put on the brake. Uh, keyless go there, press the button, start the car. Uh, top five accessories, heated steering wheel, 
heated seats, heated windscreen, um, what's that, three massage seats. I've had them on all the way to Lancaster, they're absolutely fantastic. There you go, automatic or program you can uh, have the intensity up and down and it, it just inflates cushions in the back of the seat, it's just tremendous. Um, fifth accessory, you'd probably think it'd be something to make the car fast, go faster but it, it, it's not. The, my fifth favourite accessory would be the a fantastic audio system. Uh, first car I ever bought cost me 75 quid and my radio cost me 150 <laughs> so uh, that kind of puts my uh, priorities in order doesn't it not, not too good okay let me tell you the service history so here we go we've got the full digital service history here but I think I've got it in something a little bit easier to uh, read and uh, when I was going through the, the specification trying to remember all the stuff on these cars it, it's virtually impossible so I made some notes and, and I, I just run out of space on the page so here we go the documented service history the 9th of 12 2016 at 17,479 miles Stafford Land Rover 22nd of 2nd 2017 at 20,833 miles, Stafford Land Rover, 5th of 12th, 2017, at uh, 26,687 miles, Stafford Land Rover, 6th of 12th, 2018, 36,913 miles, Stafford Land Rover, 5th of 12th, 2019, at 46,629 miles, Stafford Land Rover, 7th of 12th, 2020, 52,963 miles Stafford Land Rover so only, only 2,000 miles ago you say but that's the that's the the service history record this is a specification so you've got I mean most of that's that's standard but I'll, I'll show you when we go in you won't be able to see this in in the windscreen it's got a laser holographic um, display so heads up display so at the moment it's telling me naught miles per hour but it also tells you what gear you're in there you go that's saying neutral drive and then it'll also give you your next turns your, your direction if you set the sat nav you can see there it, it's just got so much stuff I mean it's got a TV I, for, I forgot to photograph the TV even but it's got so much stuff it's got you can have the TV on for the passenger and the driver can just sees the um, you sat nav or, or can't see the TV at all so you, you're not breaking any laws access height so that's access height there we're already down but when we start going there's an orange light on the dashboard there when we start going it'll go to normal height Lane, de lane departure warning hasn't got lane departure warning because that's a silly accessory but it's got blind spot monitoring system anybody in your blind spot at the back <laughs> it's not just a clever name anybody in your blind spot um, light warns you it's the, the best accessory ever only a couple of hundred quid I think if it was fitted to every car, um, I'd prefer to see it like the Volvo system where that's on the inside, the, the warning is on the inside so that, um, I don't know, if your mirror's iced up or uh, somebody's kind enough to knock it off, then it doesn't cost you a fortune to replace your mirror. If your door gets damaged, then it's already too late for the car. But uh, this, the, the um, the massage seats, just heaven. There are electric memory seats to start off with. I was actually, I think these these have more positions. I, I mean, that 
you won't be able to see it, but the um, we've got kind of an up and down switch. <laughs> Great description. Uh, and when I move that, the wings of the seat come in, come into my back, fold in, and keep me me uh, in position. Um, so that's that's the wings, and then the rest I think is lumbar support. Um, different ones. Oh, hopefully that's not knocking my side seats off. But it's it's quite funny. I'm not I'm not suggesting for a second that you should be able to send text while you're driving, but uh, here you can mess around with your massage seats, and uh, as far as I know, that's reasonably legal to do. We're doing, I'm actually, I'm doing, I was in 42 miles an hour then, it's, that's faster than I want to go along this road really, but you just don't feel like you're moving, it's, I need to get further back if I can, further back, down, so we'll go down, the, the seat there, you can actually move, the, there you go, I'm going forward, you, you can move the seat squab forward. So just get comfortable there. The the seats. <laughs> well, you'll know certainly know all about the seats when I'm finished, won't you? And uh, that's the, the seats are, must be glowing now, but they're also cooled. So in winter you can have the heat on. Uh, in summer it blows cool air through. And uh, got the heated steering wheel, which I'm going to turn off as well because that's getting toasty. This, uh, I should have perhaps parked up and just had a kit with me, my side seats on. The, the heads up display you know it, it, especially if it's a motorbike coming towards you you only need a second to take your eyes off the road and you've got a second where you miss it another second where the, the motorbikes in your a pillar vision or the vision that's obscured by your a pillar and then another second I mean how far can you have traveled a certain death corner we'll just slow down here because there only seems to be me that finds this <laughs> precarious corner I, uh, probably look a bit blurry eyed this morning the new season of uh, Bosch came out yesterday on Amazon Prime TV and I think there's eight hour episodes and I started watching it last night and I couldn't I couldn't go to bed till I'd finished it so I'm just going to put my uh, sunglasses on nothing coming either way There we go. So again, here we've got your terrain response. That's just in automatic there, but if you take it out, you've, you've got the usual things there. Select neutral for range change. So neutral, knock that on, and then it's, that's off road. Can you see it going up? So there we go. That's kind of off road mode way high up if I know somewhere where we could try that but <laughs> I don't know whether I fancy it in a 40 40 thousand pound plus car so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop here again put it back into neutral into neutral we'll knock it out of that back into D and away. So you've got cruise control there. Just 
there you go one touch ah it's also um, distronic uh, cruise control that the will keep its keep your distance from the car in front you can set it once you put it on you can then move it let's just do that again so it's there so if I set that I can then move like so that's forward and down or I've just overridden the cruise control now so I'm set cruise speed set and there we go I can set the gap with this these two buttons wow look at that what was that it dug it <laughs> it looked massive whatever it was so there we go in the screen there I can see in green the speed my cruise control is set to as well we can see over most of the bushes see what's coming got you say we've got sat nav there you can switch the TV on and the passenger can watch the TV and um, car is just absolutely beautiful big front center armrest here with a, a fridge in and also a couple of USBs to plug your mobiles into a Bluetooth hands-free Bluetooth audio streaming that bump there it's a nasty bump it's, a, it's like a little humpback bridge and you just float over it I and mean, it's just the the car is absolutely it's light new it's fully loaded the the everything you could possibly want is comfortable so if you like music it's it's the best you'll you'll ever hear I would think in a car um, you know, like Jack says, what if this is as good as it gets? I, I really, I, I can't think of another car that I would rather go anywhere in. Oh, little wabbit there. A paddle shift here on the steering wheel. Change down on the left there. Command shift, it's called it. Uh, I'm sure I, I, um, I read somewhere in the brochure that this is a command seat as well. It sets you up and further away from the road and it's, it really is, it's just, uh, it's just lovely. It's so quiet. Big front central armrest here. Another one that you can adjust if you're, uh, I suppose, if you're tinier and you can't reach over there. Fortunately, I can, I, I can do everything. All the all the bad habits here, elbows on the side. Uh, let's just see if I do that. Power folding door mirrors. It's a beautiful suede headlining and lovely leather and it's uh, I believe the leather in this is called semi aniline not treated too much you know, all the uh, all the kind of character taken out of the leather with a, the treatment they give them this is this is lovely the, the perforations in the center that's the bit that allows the cool air to uh, circulate through if you set it on cooling in the winter I'll just show you these the camera system hang on I'll just pull over so for instance on your cameras 
there that's your junction view so cameras at the front when you're pulling out you'll see that uh, so that camera must be at the front there but you'll see that at the front side then you can curb view there you can see where you're parking and how close to the curb you're getting oh, curb. and then you've got plan view so there you go again you can see in front of you I'll just uh, go up to this place here where you can see there's a there's a gate there that should just show there we go so at the side of you there that's the that's the gate just there and the and the path leading into it um I'm, uh, it's my day off today and uh, I'm very tempted to carry on up to the Lake District it's not that far that way in this lovely car trying to make sure that I've shown you everything as I say memory seats if I click memory one there's nothing coming in any direction, fortunately. So that's a, that's the person who's been driving this massive car before. Uh, that's uh, and position oh, position two. There you go, and uh, and I set position three, but I, I didn't set it very well when I set out. So I still need to alter it. So if I alter that, get down. There you go, that's that's about it, perhaps a bit further back. And then press the memory button, press the three button, that's the memory set. You've also got height and reach adjustable, electronically adjustable steering wheel. That sets with the memory seats and also the mirror positions. So you can have three positions with the steering wheel, the seat and the uh, door mirrors. I mean, this road, these bumps normally, like so, you'd go over and you'd, boom, you, you know, you, you'd really feel them. But this, this is just, um, it's just lovely. 4.4 engine. Was it 334 brake horsepower? This is the place for it, isn't it? There we go. I could have seen the pheasants then. One of the things that does come in handy uh, on roads like this, I'll, I'll just stop again and I'll put it back on the. Right, so if I put it back. What I want to do. Oops, he's put it on the curb view. I'll just show you. And so <clears throat> when you when you meet a car coming the other way and you want to know just how far over you can get without hitting every anything, you scuffing the wall, you can see there right up to the very edge before you go onto the grass. So So that's the sunroof, tilt and all the way back. Just 
pull out. Forward again. That's it fastened. That should be the shade band. That's uh, semi see through. You'll see here when we go past this car. There you go. That's the side, the junction cameras put it in hill descent here so we're in hill descent and two and a half ton car feet off the brake and the accelerator and it's just letting me come down at a safe pace it's obviously it's not meant for tarmac road but you can also imagine here if if it's in the winter when it's snowing or icy then uh, I would think that's a godsend. I'll just I'll just stop and we'll get out of hill descent. So hill descent off. Actually, we'll just put it in the other. Uh, we'll just put it in so neutral. Click on that. Low range selected. Suspension blowing up. We'll put it in drive. And that looks like it's got just about everything selected. And there we go, again. It, we've got hill descent on high range as well. So I, I have got the perfect place in mind, and one of my viewers has suggested um, I use it for four-wheel drives. <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. All right, hang on. I'll just... Uh, let this car go by. They, they're in a hurry. They don't. They don't have hill descent. Put that back in neutral. Switch that off. Back into drive. Here we go. The cyclist. <laughs> the sheep, and the cyclist, and the car all came together at the same point in the road what's the odds of that hopefully there's nothing coming the other way Sleep, don't worry. Don't panic. <laughs> All the sheep are asleep. <laughs> it's not Wayne Rooney. I, I know I go on a, a lot about. Um, stuff that's not needed and shouldn't have been invented in uh, cars all electrical things but Range Rovers I mean just look at this how clean precise everything is and functional everything just to hand everything you need the the electrical things that I could do without if, if I'm honest, I can do without that. But things like your folding mirrors, the blind spot warning, just uh, invaluable, really. Sat nav's handy. Um, you can plug your phone in here. There's also a, an app, Range Rover Control, Land Rover Control. Uh, whatever it is and you can well I'll, I'll show you 
there should be a little pull off here um, but you can um, download an app put your chassis number in it may be unless it's a new car it may be that the previous owner is still registered you then have to ring Land Rover up to ask them to uh, take the previous owner's name off it so you can register it they'll tell you it'll be done by the uh, close of business that day it won't be so you have to ring them again the next day and they're engaged <laughs> so uh, oh, plus you've, you've also you can't just get away with it as easy as that even if there's a video of you on the internet for 30 minutes and it's advertised on your website you've got to um, email them proof that the vehicle's yours in our case we had to the logbook wasn't enough we had to uh, we had to send them a purchase invoice now I don't know about you but even a like a, a five-year-old these days can uh, knock up a purchase invoice I think they struggle a little bit more with a, a logbook and they'd probably even struggle more to actually video it themselves in the car for 30 minutes and take 100 photos of it on your pitch and you driving it but anyway uh, with data protection these days it's, it's crazy so once it's in your name we'll just uh, take all that off this is the other car that I'm just using at the moment so there you go it's uh, Land Rover remote and basically it tells you when it's when it ah gosh but I've got no internet here but anyway so there you go so it tells you how much fuels in the car uh, it's locked but not alarmed that means I've not pressed the the remote twice which is uh, a bit remiss of me and uh, that's, that would tell me my journeys if I had any internet signal and it, it tells you how many miles you did it even shows you where you where you've been um, still getting latest journeys but registration number and so on vehicle health report so it, it gives you all these things uh, service due on my other car which will be done because I actually sold it yesterday and uh, let's just go back here ah oh, there so there's all the journeys I've done in it um, so if I click on that one for instance there you go it shows you where I went duration of, of the journey average speed distance and the miles per gallon so you, all, you've got all those especially if you use the car for uh, work and you, you can even send it to yourself or send it to somebody else send it to somebody who does the wages so there you go I um, I'll finish the test drive there really um, absolutely awesome car over a hundred thousand pounds new and it's a bargain really you wouldn't get anything that drives better than this certainly not on roads like this that would keep your family safe that's reasonably good on fuel fairly cheap to tax for the size of the vehicle that's one of my cameras overheating okay <laughs> always always makes me think about electric cars what happens when your electric car overheats these are tiny batteries they're like so we've just been switched on for half an hour if that and it's overheated and switched off get yourself a 4.4 we'll go anywhere we'll wade through 900 millimeters of water <laughs> when, when electric cars the battery gets wet they blow up <laughs> what a fantastic car um, as I say it's, it's really strange loads of Range Rovers we, we've had loads in the garage we sell lots of them 
but I don't think we'll ever get one like this again. Um, so get it while you can. Thanks for watching.